With little more than three weeks to go before Christmas, many of you might be searching for a gift idea for Mother. Filmmaker Joshua Seftel may be able to help you there. Now, when Joshua Seftel's dad passed away in 2009, he and his siblings worried their mum would be lonely. So they bought her an iPad to help her stay connected to the family. So you and your sisters got her an iPad. We got an iPad. I taught her how to use it. Everyone said, don't do it. She's not going to like it. And um, I taught her how to use it. And what happened, mom? I loved it. It is my extreme pleasure to welcome Josh Seftel. <laughs> I'm going to start by sharing with you some video of my mom and I, right after she was given her first iPad. Can you see me? Can't see. Oh, now I can. Oh, my finger. Where are you? For her 75th birthday, my sisters and I bought my mom an iPad, and to everyone's surprise, by the end of the weekend, she was using email. She even understood how to use Apple's video chat software. FaceTime. Although instead of calling it FaceTime, my mom called it Facelift. I like this. What is this nice. called? Oh, oh, a facelift. This software is called Facelift? Something like that. That's when I got the idea. We'd record our facelift conversations <laughs> and we'd make our own show. We talked about Miley Cyrus twerking. Turkey or turkey or twerking? Is that what it is? We talked about Anthony Weiner sexting. He's in deep doo-doo. We talked about Justin Bieber's monkey. Well, the last thing I heard, this monkey chewed this woman's face off. His monkey did? No, not his monkey. Oh, that was a chimpanzee, though. Well, whatever it is, it had a long tail, and, and it was kind of a monkey. You are an award-winning uh, filmmaker, but you say that these chats with your mama are, are what you now look forward to most. Well, it's yeah, it's true. I mean, I'm used to working on movie sets with large film crews and directing famous actors, and this project is really different from the things I, I normally do. These conversations are sweet, but what else is happening here? I think this series is about connecting. It's about a mother and a son. It's about two different generations finding a way to connect. And in every episode, we try to bring it to a personal level. I was learning new things about my mom. In our episode about Dick Clark, I learned that my mom once danced on American Bandstand. We wore little sweaters with dickies. You know what a dickie is? It's just a collar, but it looks like you have a blouse on under. In our episode about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's baby, I learned for the first time how and why she picked out my middle name. I was driving past this blind place and it said Rand Blinds. And I thought, gee, that's a nice name. I even learned that my mom was in the midst of reading the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. It really is a love story. He's got his mental health problems. But don't we all? It was a new kind of conversation that we were having. There was no stress. There was no worrying about the usual things like the travel arrangements for the next Jewish holiday. We were just present in the moment, and we were two friends talking about things that are fun to talk about. We've received a lot of email letters and from fans and people who watch the series saying that they've been inspired, that they're either going to buy their parents an iPad or they're going to just call their parents and talk to them more. And to me, that's amazing. That's, that's what we want. I was going to actually call my mother right now, um, but since she's here, I'm going to invite her up for a minute. A lot of people ask me questions about our series, so I figured I'd ask you and you can answer them. How does that sound? Okay. What is your favorite episode that we've done so far? That's kind of hard. I kind of like them all. I think Fifty Shades of Grey was a shocker. What has this meant for you, and um, do you want to keep continue doing it? It's meant more than words could really say. When we do these programs, I feel like we're partners in something, and um, I'm thrilled that he's interested in spending this kind of time with me. It makes me feel wonderful.
So you think you're gonna be willing to negotiate for another year? Um, I'll have to talk to you later. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for including us, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.